That's awesome. She's just chilling there watching another really cool anime, it looks like. I want to watch it. Well, that's way cool. So she gets to hang out with Cole and Nathan in their workroom sometimes. That's way cool. So she's not trapped all the time in her little room area. Yeah, I guess we'll get up, walk around, stretch our legs. And I just wanted to say welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. And a big thank you to all of you for joining me. Really appreciate it. And let's see what we can do here. It looks like it's nighttime. At least I'm guessing. Oh yeah, time for bed? Is that the only option? We can't talk to these guys? Here we go. What are you guys studying? Ghosts? Paranormal activities? Can we lay back down and watch more cartoons? Alright. I guess we just have to say, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Nathan, I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> Doesn't look like we can do anything with Iden, but let's try leaving the room. Ooh, it's dark and scary. So, where did he leave that book? This place is way creepy. Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. Yeah, Aiden. Can I go over here and see if these guys are talking about us? Man, I still can't believe all that we've discovered thanks to one little girl. Yeah, she's really something. Sometimes it seems like she's lived many lives already. We gotta take it easy on her though, Nathan. I mean, she's just a kid. And these sessions with Aiden are really hard on her. You're right. We've got enough data to keep us busy for months. We should give her some time off. Cool. <laughs> Cole's like, right on, Nathan. Parents. Have you heard anything? No, but it's probably better that way. You are planning to tell her the truth about him, aren't you? I don't know. I really don't know it. Last thing I want to do is hurt her. Interesting. I guess that they're our adoptive parents. I don't know. I, I'm sure that will come to rise later. But I would have thought that we already knew that they kind of weren't really our parents. Aiden? Are you doing that, Aiden? Be nice to us, Aiden. I want to get my pink book. Tons of equipment, but it's all like scattered around. It's kind of a, a weird, must be some sort of storage area. Oh, sick. Oh, I think that was Nathan's wife and daughter. I don't know why they appeared right here. That was super creepy. They didn't hear us scream just now? Ah, you found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Ooh. Jody. Jody, you okay? You look pain. 
She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Nathan's like, no, you look more than tired. Yes. You look like you just yes. saw a ghost. Oh, Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Oh, that's when he gets the call. They must have just died. Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from their mothers. Truck. Wrong driver. Wrong side of the road. Let's get you off to bed. Nathan, stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. Oh, that's awful. And poor Cole, he can't really say anything because he doesn't want Jody get to get all, you know, scared. And that kind of fuels his obsession in all of this paranormal research. And that just automatically links us right into the mission. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Now, he relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start looking. I want some coffee. You'll be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. Identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. Now, the last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. They found his head, one of his legs, in a fishing boat. Well, that's gross. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, Ryan. I'll be back before they even realize what's happened. Watch yourself out there, Jody. I don't want anything to happen to you. Move away! That'd be the most awkward time for a kiss, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I won't be alone. Cool, we're going James Bond 007 mission style in the dead of night. Good luck, Jody. Oh, total black, black Ops style. This is crazy. I wonder if Nathan knows about any of this. And the whole city is on fire. Ooh, <laughs> we've got a body here. <laughs> no direct engagement with the enemy. More like just some no bones. Backup. Check that there are no soldiers around, I didn't. Well. I probably can't go too terribly far away. Oh, there's someone right here. Two guys, actually. Oh, too far.
Yeah, I just see these two guys. Uh oh. Alright, let's push these drums over. He's like, what on earth? I guess I can't do anything with him directly. Where did your buddy go? Alright, I guess we gotta be kinda sneaky. Oh yeah, here we go. I can push this over again. BAM! I guess we're just trying to distract him while we sneak over here. Here we go. Yeah, you didn't see anybody. I am a ghost. Sorry about this, friend. Using my Darth Vader choke hold on you. That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh! I tried. I tried the triangle. around all right let's try and break down yeah there we go so yeah we just completely fell through the floor for some reason I don't know why okay let's try bailing last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki hotel which is right here See if you find anything. Well, there appears to be... Oh, there wait, it is. Wait. Now let's go. let's go. Oh, jump. There's a body on the floor. Alright, I better take some cover. There's like a whole group of people right here. They seem decently distracted though. I, I oh, here we go. Oh, junk! I didn't even know. <laughs> I just like go storming in there. Completely unprepared. I guess there's guards like everywhere, so. Gotta scope it out. It's just like back in that CIA training mission. There's a guy right there. Yeah, I think we're headed. I think we've gotta go to the right. Crouch down right here, I think. Ooh, can I do something with this guy? Well, 
he's gonna make it difficult. We've gotta go in kind of like a big loop. Oh, here we go. We're gonna take him out. Oh! Right on. I love how she just punches their neck. Bam! The takedown. Alright, where was that guy that was on the roof? Okay, here we go. You are getting sleepy. You cannot breathe. Oops. <laughs> he straight up fell off the roof. Sorry, buddy. It was either you or me. Alright, who do we have here? A whole group of guys. We should be okay if we go this way, I'm thinking. What? Oh, sick. I just noticed there's a dude hanging right here. A couple guys. That's way gross. All right, I wish we could do something. This guy right here is right in our field of vision. Maybe we'll have to go the longer way around. What on earth was that? I heard shouting. There's some guys coming out. All right. They're doing something to this kid. He's definitely not a soldier. Get rid of them. Oh, the takedown. Oh, that was way sick. All right, did that kid escape? <laughs> 